Welcome back. Now, an interesting study by People Research on India's consumer economy shows India's middle class will nearly double by 2046-47. The same report also highlights rural India is adding super rich faster than urban, and that India will see a five-fold increase in its super rich families by the turn of the decade. So, a large chunk of growth expected from rural India. To understand the study further, we are joined by the author of the report, Rajesh Shukla, MD and CEO at Price People Research on India's Consumer Economy, and Mr. Nikhil Oja, partner at Bain and Company. Thank you both for joining us. To begin with, Rajesh Shukla, for the benefit of our viewers now, please tell us how was the study conducted. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Sakshi. It is always a pleasure, and this is this is actually the work what we are undertaking for the last ten years. And the fundamental in this one is the uh, the data which has gone into this report. It is based on the three three rounds of Pan India survey covering approximately 25 states mm -hmm. uh, in 2014, 2016, and 2021. So three years data of approximately 40 to 60 thousand household, which is a probability sample, which is the base, and the, you can see use this data and this data is from the households, Indian household uh, from the rural and urban India. So this is this is the core of the work. Right. And, the, right. and, and yeah, so oh. uh, so in, yeah, in this in this actually the one one thing is uh, even for the projection for the 2031 and 2046. Absolutely. Have, Some very yeah. interesting long term projections. Yes. Right. So we have assumed very conservative actually assumption. It is not the something achievable. Like for example, GDP growth we have assumed approximately uh, uh, six to seven percent. Urbanization is approximately by the twenty forty seven is fifty percent. So whatever assumption we have assumed, it is conservative way by which at least. It, it is achievable, I can just say. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. Now, Nikhil Oja, I'd like to come to you. Former Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Kant has said that as the number of households in the middle class category rises, there will be demand for quality health care, education, housing, and of course, consumer goods. So as someone, you know, of course, he also emphasized that the government needs to focus on education and healthcare and creating job opportunities. Now, as someone who understands this space, your thoughts on the job opportunities in these sectors as a result of this. Thank you, Sakshi. Uh, yes, uh, there's, been, uh, there's been a significant change over the last 15 years uh, in the income distribution in India. And it's absolutely nothing if you think about, you know, what's coming down the road over the next decade. We've had the privilege of working with Price uh, and uh, a joint work that Bain and & Company and Price had done three years ago. We showed how there's going to be a hundred million more rich and middle class household that's going to be added in the country over the next decade. And alongside this, there'll be 50 million fewer destitute and aspirant households. That's the chain that's coming. Now, of course, as uh, uh, Amitabh said earlier, this is going to require a number of changes in terms of, you know, both the healthcare, education, etc. But all of this change is predicated on us creating the right sorts of job. And that, I think, you know, is happening. I, I would like it to happen faster than it's happening right now. But that transition is already underway as we speak. Uh, former Niti Aayog CEO Mr. Amitabh Kant also said the vision of India becoming a fully developed country by 2047 really implies that the middle class needs to be the key driver of India's growth story. So while the study highlights long-term targets, your thoughts on near-term consumption trends and how this will pan out? Yeah, this is this is actually absolutely correct. Means like that looking at the next uh, that uh, this decade by end of this decade. You see, the currently the economy is going to be transformed in terms of uh, uh, total. Uh, you can say economy will be approximately 7.1 trillion uh, uh, dollar, and the consumption, which is major, uh, major actually the which is a uh, bone of this country, is approximately 5.2 trillion dollar by 2030. And the important thing here is actually need to understand this is aggregate number, but the distribution is very very interesting and which need to be understand. It is not concentrated into the uh, metros. Half of the are the you can say rural India is very much part of this. Fifty-five percent of the incremental is going to come from the uh, rural India, and the approximately half of the incremental is coming from the middle class. So, understanding their distribution, their aspiration, and their need 
it is it is very important because when income is going they are going to also ask the a, a lot of need to be done at policy and the both both spaces so supporting them with the proper social security and economic security by which at least they they should not in actually the somewhere so infrastructure is one thing mm -hmm. which need to connect it very well and second thing is they also social security network by which at least in difficult situation like covid they will able to actually sustain this growth so i am saying india is ready and for tomorrow if you want to understand the middle class impact we have to understand aspirers today those who are knocking the door of the middle class right so very interesting uh, highlights there on the consumption led growth story for india but mr nikhil oja i'd like to come to you here now more people as part of the middle class uh, segment doesn't necessarily imply a higher standard of living many believe so your thoughts on that actually i would differ from those many people because uh, on the type of change that we are going to be uh, seeing more people in that middle class as price is defined will absolutely mean a much higher standard of living remember that income at these levels you know when the per capita income uh, in in the country changes from you know the mid 2000s to you know the uh, near uh, nearer to the 4500 5000 and the income level of the middle class actually goes up and as i said 100 million more people are added to the middle class and rich uh, segment then the aggregate demand in the economy is going to grow up dramatically but that aggregate also is going to change the nature of demand because half of that additional consumption is going to be on more people buying more of the same one fourth is going to be on premiumization so category after category you'll see that you know people are actually buying better quality products or you know uh, more featured and uh, you know kind of higher spec product and then there's going to be the additional which is the new categories that comes into the consumption basket so all in all yes this this shift is going to change the nature of consumption that we'll see in the uh, uh, country and therefore the standards of living right now interestingly back to you mr nikhil on this because of course there are several highlights in the report that we've been seeing but one other one that like i mentioned at the start of my segment of course was the fact that the research is also highlighting that look in the same period rural india is adding super rich faster than urban india now your thoughts on that as many would want a more detailed insight on that i think uh, sakshi uh, uh, rajesh and the price team have done an excellent job in deconstructing the rural uh, mass into what is very clearly developed rural versus the rest of rural india and no doubt that you know there's affluence as well as consumption growing in developed rural which is uh, you know uh, about a total of about 60000 villages you know which are mostly in the peri urban areas and there there's going to be a significant growth in income that income if uh, you know for those who are interested you can read uh, in more detail in the report that income derives from all sorts of agricultural but also non agricultural activities right. and there there will be a significant increase in people there all last right thing, uh, yeah last thing that i would just point out there though is that's the rate of growth sakshi the large large proportion of the rich uh, and the super rich are going to be in still in urban areas but yes there is going to be growth in rural rich also All right thank you both so much really for joining us and sharing of course this positive road map for India's growth story and of course India rapidly shifting towards a real middle class household society there we'll be back with more news and updates after a very short break